Well, the goal of the whole Earth system is to find ways to live and travel without harm. And right now we have Alex Rivera with the HowToSaveFuel.com. We have a uh, fuel cells that are added to the vehicle. They produce a hydrogen oxygen gas out of water and a baking soda catalyst, so it's totally environmentally friendly. We don't use anything that's not recyclable or not for the environment. Gasoline engines now, the combustion motors, are using about 30% efficiency. 70% is being wasted out the tailpipe. So with the hydrogen oxygen mix, adding it to the fuel, when it combusts in the combustion chamber, you're using almost all of it. These are our fuel cells. And basically, it's an electrolysis process. It takes the water molecule, splits it into two parts. Uh, two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. This is introduced into the combustion chamber. It mixes with the existing fuel, complementing it, and you get a much better burn, more complete. Uh, you get more miles per gallon. You get more horsepower, more torque. It cleans the motor out as if it was brand new. If you were to open this motor up, all your valves, all your pistons, with all the carbons would be gone. Because a hydrogen explosion is a lot hotter, hotter than, the, than gasoline explosion, right? Correct. Hotter and faster. Hotter and faster? Yes. So there's no deposits at all because that's just hydrogen. Boom. There's nothing there. And so it's cleaning out. It's kind of pushing out the gunk at the same time, right? Well, that's correct. These are the, the fuel lines supplying towards the motor, both of these. The electrolysis process is happening from here through the electrode, through this one, through that electrode, through this one. These are pressure reliefs. See what happens when I open them? Oh, see the bubbling? Then this is how you fill them. You pull that cap off. You take this right here. You put it into another reservoir of distilled water because it's clean. Water. Push the water in. Every time I fill up my gas tank, I'm putting maybe half an inch of water in. So do you carry like a little, like a, a gallon of distilled water? I put distilled in, and then I and then I have a like a two and a half gallon in the garage that I just transfer into. Do you soda make bottle. your own distilled water at home? I can teach you how to do that real for, for free. Yeah. This is a 1990 Harley Davidson, and this is the fuel cell that I've added to it. Same principle as that one, but this one, instead of being a see-through, I have a water level so I can see the amount of water that's in it. How come everybody doesn't have this thing already? <laughs> the knowledge has been around for a hundred years. Right. I've just taken different things, I've learned, I've done my studies, I've, I've uh, developed something that I can make work. But doesn't the automobile industry just want you to go away? or? Not talk about this thing. Uh, I mean, they they try to make it difficult, you know, and they haven't tried to bury me yet. Really? <laughs> but so you're able to just come from the come to the public and make it available, and not a problem. Yes, at this time. Now, and you have a place locally here in in, uh, in the, the north end of the valley, in the San Fernando Valley, the north end of the valley. I think that's great. And you'll take any car. We can just drive right in there, and uh, yes, yeah. we do manufacturing, we do research and development, we do installations, we do. Uh, we do it all. And the price is somewhere between $1,000 to $1,500 depending on the difficulty level of your of the installation. So it's very affordable? Yes. I would say. And how long does it take me to have that paid off? Well, it kind of depends on the way that you drive. But if you're saying, let's say you save one third, 33%, and you're spending $3 a gallon, so you're saving $1 a gallon, you've got a 20 gallon tank or $25 tank. Now you can figure out how many times you fill up your tank and how during a month, and that tells you how much you save. Twenty bucks but, a tank but, load. Twenty bucks a tank you're saving until you pay it off, and then you're getting that back in your pocket. You can use that twenty dollars now for some groceries or anything else you want. But more importantly than anything else, what I've been able to do on uh, my older vehicle, I have a '89 Ford truck, and this one has had bad emission problems before. I mean, it's just a, that's the way they were back in an '89. So I did some tests before I put the hydrogen system on. After I put the hydrogen system on, I had zero carbon emissions. I dropped my NOx emissions 59%. <laughs> and I increased my oxygen emissions like 99%. Wow. So not only am I reducing, but I'm contributing back to the atmosphere. I think this is one of the best products we've seen all day. www.howtosavefuel.com